hi guys welcome back to mama SOJ vlog how are you guys doing if you are new here you are welcome and if you are returning subscriber god bless you as you always come back to watch my video my people know be smart you know one that shall never end my people on a note in a different this now they land for my table and as they land for my table now so the career and career to come share out with you all right my people for today video i'm going to wash out together with you all right my people we'll go watch the video to see what really the apple for inside the video my people in Nigeria, but they can remove a sticker of a Yoruba nation just as they are doing in, in, the, in the southeast, killing innocent you know, Biafra for putting on a Biafra outfit. That is not going to be tolerated and we will continue to expose the Nigerian government to the international community. Titiolu, good evening to you. Yoruba nation now. And you say, Muyiwa Sinuga, you say, good evening, good evening, Prince Adiola Olamilekon. Treasury Road, you say, Capital, no. Breaking news update on your do court case. Let's quickly read that. There's a quite a lot of news coming quickly, and I have to catch up with that. What is going on with Oye do? Mazi Inam de Kano is not a criminal. Do not allow the Nigerian government to tell you that IPOB is a criminal or a terrorist organization. We have more than enough terrorists that the government needs to go and deal with and leave IPOB alone. IPOB is not a terrorist organization and we will continue to tell the international community the atrocity being committed by the Nigerian breaking government. News update. So let me quickly read what that breaking news that is coming right now. Uh, once again, thank you so much, Mr. Karnowi. And as we have it, uh, let me quickly get that breaking news out, uh, you know, for the benefit of those of you uh, as we have it uh, as well. My name is Olami Koiki. I say good evening to each and every one of you that have joined us from around the world. And I guess uh, I might have that now to read to us as the breaking news, uh, you know, just coming right now. Update on Mazinam Dekano Court Appeal Case. We wish to inform Uche Mecca and all followers of Oye Du Mazinam Dekano that we have just received notification from the Court of Appeal, Abuja Judicial Division, that the long-awaited judgment in Oyendu Mazinam the Kanu's Court Appeal, CA Abuja CR 625 2002, between Mazi Inam the Kanu and the Federal Government of Nigeria will be delivered to. Surely have every cause to rejoice for victory is ours and it shall surely end in praise. Thank you all. Chukwe Maker and remain blessed and law abiding. Just as I've been telling you, the Yorubas and the Biafra must remain law abiding until we are going to give the final push to our self determination. And this is coming and signed from by the barista representing Mazinam Dekanu. Sorry about that. There was a call that was coming through and that was why we lost the voice. And I hope the voice is back on. Bear with us, those of you that are watching us. Uh, I hope the voice is, the audio is back on. On those of you that are watching us, uh, okay, you can't hear me anymore. Uh, let's go. <laughs> That's the problem when we are using, uh, you know, the phone. So this was actually coming from Sir Barista Infani Ejime for the council lead for the uh, uh, the uh, the IPOB leader Mazinam the Kanu. What a very great news there, as we are looking forward to Mazinam the Kanu gaining his freedom. Just as uh, Chief Sundadi Yemo got his freedom. Okay. <laughs> Bear with us, uh, you know, tonight, uh, quite a lot of technical problems. Okay, the sound is back. Thank you so much, those of you that are watching us. Allah Lekong, maybe you want to refresh your phone and it's going to come back. Uh, yes, a very, very great news. And I'm so excited, you know, to tell you that Mazinam Dekano will be getting, uh, you know, his freedom very, very soon. And let us continue to remind you that IPOP is not a criminal or a terrorist organization. We have enough Boko Haram terrorists, we have ISIS terrorists, we have all other terrorists, but IPOP is not a terrorist. Inam the Khan was actually kidnapped. Thank you so much, Allah Malikon. Yes, the audio is back now. Thank you so much, Larry. And as I continue to read your news and update, a very, very great news. I cannot wait, you know, to hear, you know, Inam the Khan being released. So, uh, what we might do is that uh, we might just uh, stop the whole streaming because we are very, uh, finding it very, very difficult, you know, to get, uh, you know, the details out there. So what we might do in otherwise uh, is just maybe connect us directly from the system rather than from the software. Bear with us. Uh, the technical team are working tirelessly to resolve all the problem. Okay, if you're still finding it difficult, please tell somebody to refresh their phone in the comment section 
as we continue to monitor the situation in, uh, you know, with our team that are traveling, uh, I think they're going for the rally. Nobody have the right to bully you. Make sure you continue to tell them that. So, what a very, very great news. Uh, Ajala also says, nothing, nothing is working. We cannot continue like this. Everything is wrong. They are just why we are under slave. What about those that say that Nigeria is working and they want to keep Nigeria? What do we tell them? Please tell somebody in the comment section to refresh their phone. Uh, maybe they are probably not aware that the audio is back. Thank you so much. Uh, keep your comment coming. Uh, you also says there, uh, you know, let's read some of the comment on the on the Instagram as well. Obasanjo is already sweating on. Andre, like killing people, destroy their road. Wow, a very sad one there. As Dangote continue, uh, you know, the, the vehicle of Dangote continue to create a lot of havoc and kill so many people as well. My name again is Olai Mikoiki. You are still live with me on Star Radio UK every Wednesday. Uh, this is how we do it. And uh, we give you all the news and the latest, especially as uh, you all know my stake, uh, Niger Voices on Star Radio UK comes up every Wednesday uh, on Star Radio UK. Do you think that all the politicians can resolve our problem when they say we should come and vote and campaign and all these? <laughs> Do you think that that is going to happen? Nigerians that are asking that we should remain in Nigeria, why are they saying we should remain in Nigeria and for what purpose, for what reason? What is your take, you know, in the situation with Nigeria? Is Nigeria still working? You know, do we still keep Nigeria? And what is the reason why we should keep Nigeria? So keep your comment. Uh, yes, a very great news. As a, you know, last, last, Inam the Kano will regain uh, his freedom just as Chief Sunday Bubu regain his freedom. Inam the Kano is not a criminal. He has not committed any offense. Uh, you know, bear with us. There was a call that came in. That was why, you know, we lost that audio. Uh, so bear with us. Uh, I guess that audio is bad. Let's continue with the program. Those that want to keep Nigeria, why are they really adamant telling us that 2023 is going to fix all the problems, it's going to give you jobs, it's going to provide the road network, it's going to keep you welfare, it's going to keep you secure? Do you agree with that? Do you think that that is actually going to resolve our problems? Do you think that is going to resolve our problem? Do you think that going for 2023 election will resolve our problem? That's the question I'm asking us tonight. Keep your comment coming. I know I've not read a lot of the comment because I'm doing a lot of other things uh, from behind the scene. But let's take a look at uh, some of your comments that is coming very, very fast on Star Radio UK. Once again, it is the finest African. King Solo, good evening to you. Celis. Celicia Adeniron, she koike kushe. Yes, uh, you know, Gabi Kilanko say good news uh, for Mazi Inam de Kanu. Abiola Oluode, a very powerful name there. <laughs> when they say somebody is Oluode, you know, that's not a joke, you know. All our youth, I'm asking you tonight, do you think that we should keep Nigeria or we should just say enough of being part of Nigeria? There's a lot of youth that still wants to remain Nigerians. And they have the right. But is Nigeria truly working for you? And if Nigeria is truly working for you, how long do you think that we should tell ourselves lies about being a country that was smooshed together by the British colony in 1914 after the slave trade? And why should we remain one Nigeria? <laughs> Somebody said that is the big lie. Nigeria is now working. Okay. Uh, once again, uh, you know, we do apologize for a lot of our, uh, you know, 
you know, the mix up tonight, you know, quite a lot of things happening, but we are doing all our possible best, you know, to resolve the problem. As I am looking at the issue in Nigeria, are you also looking at the same issue or are you of the view that Nigeria is going to work? And if Nigeria is going to work, how? Can you give me a breakdown? Nigeria is only benefiting from, uh, it, is it only those benefiting from the contraction I want Nigeria? Larry or La... Allah Wekbo, that's exactly what you said. Once again, my name is Allah Mikoiki, and welcome to Star Radio UK. Kenny, how they say, end Nigeria now. You're about nation now, now, now. Fatai Ogumefon, the only solution is you're about nation. What should we tell those that believe in Nigeria? Kenny Kama, so far, until what should believe in one Nigeria? They want you to come and vote. Get your PVC. Sam Smith say indigenous want to take over, so Nigeria should keep quiet. Ajala Adirayo, reading your comment again. It is only the people that are using their, using their, they are working together with their party. That is why they say he's working for them. If they are working out of 100 people, only working for just 20. We don't want to live in a country where only 20 people enjoy. I mean, 20 people enjoy and, uh, I mean, 20 people are not enjoying. Uh, okay, let me read that again. Out of 100 people, only working for just 20 people. Imagine a country that is working just for 20 people. My name again is Ola Mikoiki. And again, we do apologize for all the uh, mix-up tonight, you know, with the broadcast, the technical. We will resolve all this issue uh, before Niger Voice 6 next week. Bear with us. We are not live on Star Radio UK on YouTube, but, uh, you, know, you know, bear with us. All that will be resolved, uh, you know, by next week. And we do apologize. If you believe in one Nigeria... Can you tell me the reason why you still believe in one Nigeria? If you believe in one Nigeria, can you write in the comment section and let me read it out why you believe in one Nigeria? You have the right to believe in one Nigeria. There's no doubt. Nobody doubt that. But the question is, are you sure that Nigeria is working for you? Because I don't think Nigeria is working for millions of Nigerians. Poverty capital of the world is Nigeria. Ajala say it is only the people that are using their. Okay, I read that already. Keep the comment coming. Omolola on Instagram say it can't resolve our problem in Nigeria. But the election that the people are saying that election Timbo, Elogba PVC, you know, Ejaka Lord Debo, Kale PC Law, please bear with us. Uh, you know, this is our beautiful language and we continue to respect those that. Believe in that language. If you don't believe in that language, there's no problem. But English is not our language. English was actually what the British colony forced on us. <laughs> and that is why we are saying that English is not our language. Yoruba is our official language and is one of the most beautiful language. Crafty Dren say, Nigeria is a group of people. Nigeria is a group of people, company, which the management do what they like there. I love that. Once again, uh, apology to all the problems that we are facing tonight. We will resolve all those problems before next week. Please bear with us. As I read all the comments and also monitor, uh, you know, the conversation. I want to one year, Lord D, but 2023, and Fani, And do you think that we can actually win the heart of those that believe in Nigeria and bring them back to us? Star Radio UK. In four minutes, I'm going to open my phone line. Please do not call any other number apart from the studio line. I want to need 2023. How do we tell them that that is not working? How do we explain to an average Nigerian that the Yoruba, the Biafra, the, you know, the Middle Belt, we are indigenous people and we need to remain indigenous rather than remain in Nigeria? Let me give you some statistics of countries. Remember, I'm still going to read that self-determination, uh, you know, declaration at 1514. We have countries that are not even up to, you know, 1 million. We have a country called Palua. Palua is 18,000 in terms of their population. They got their independence in 1994 from the United States of America. Their passport is valued at number 49. But when you look at the passport of Nigeria, you will ask yourself... Is it truly working for you and me? Is Nigeria a country that works for everybody? APC spent 
PDP away. Okay, sent PDP away in 2015. Now PDP wants to send APC away in 2023. Who is fooling who? In the back, but 2023, Loma saw a problem where a big key in Ron Yoro Bako Daduro. It will let you so near Prince Adiola Olami Lake. Good evening to you. Where is Ginaldo? Good evening to you. In the in Ron Yoro Bar, Odaka Daduro, a big cash is one in Nigeria. It will let you funny no. Once again, as we are trying to tell those at home. Those at home are saying, mm -mm, I'm a low PVC. Well, if you live alone, do you think that we can actually chase people away, you know, with their PVC? Do you think that there will be a fair and free election in Nigeria? Niger Voices on Star Radio UK every Wednesday. Do you think that we can chase the PDP away and bring in APC? Which one do you think can fix our problem and give us a better life? PDP, APC, Labour Party. A lot of the youth are saying that Labour Party, somebody said 2023 election is 100% F9 parallel. The only way out is Yoruba Nation. Thank you so much. Idowu Michael. Akonji says, I want Yoruba Nation now, not Nigeria. Keep the comment coming and I'll be reading them as I have them in front of my screen. Nigeria or Nigerians, what do you want? I'm asking the question. Let me give you some of the breakdown. South Sudan, 11.9, 11.1 million. They got their independence in 2011. Kosovo declared in 2008, 1.8 million. Number 86 when it comes to their passport index. Serbia, 6.9 million. Number 35 when it comes to their passport index. Adebayo, you said Nigeria is not working for me and my family. I have watched what happened in Ojaldon. We will continue to tell those at home, you have the right to self-determination. You have the right to wear a Yoruba nation outfit. You have the right to put on a sticker of Yoruba on your vehicle. But please do not confront the military. But we will continue to tell you that you have the right. The military do not have any right to remove a Yoruba nation sticker. That was actually wrong. Sam Smith said nothing, not, no party can solve this. Let everybody go. JJ. <laughs> whether you like or you know like after you hear this you feel talk how many people remember that song whether you like or you know like unfortunately we can't play some of this music because of youtube and some other social media platform whether you like or you know like after you hear this you feel talk whether you like or you know like after you hear this you feel talk if you hear is this gang gang if you know that you gang 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 if you like, you go talk, gang gang. You go talk forever, gang gang. We say we want Yoruba nation is not a crime. So let me read that for the benefit of those of you that are moving around in Nigeria today. Do not allow the military, the security to threaten you. If you are thinking that you're under threat, go live on your social media and let the world know what is happening. But please do not confront them. All people have the right to self-determination. By virtue of that right, they are freely determined their political status and freely pursue their economic and social cultural development. Do not be bullied. Yeah, the legend, Fela and Nicola Kokuti, Akonji, thank you so much. Taiwo Kike said, no going back to Yoruba Nation now. Keep the comment coming. I'll be reading all your comments. As tonight is tonight, we continue to say to those of you that are watching us, Yoruba Nation has come to stay. We are not criminals. We have not committed any crime. And we will remain peaceful just as our father, Professor Ban Jakintoye, has been telling us. Do not allow anyone to bully you thinking that we are doing something wrong or we are not doing something right. Let me read more of your comment as I'm getting it across the globe this evening. My name is Aloya Mikoike. Uh, can my backend team help me with my map? <laughs> with my beautiful map. Okay, I think I've got it somewhere here. Let me... Let me just get it. Uh, this is my beautiful map that I've been, you know, showing. Uh, thank you so much. I got it. Thank you so much, my backend team. Uh, this is my beautiful map. And somewhere around there is Nigeria, uh, where we have been reviewing 
all the issues, you know, and this is why we call it Niger Voices. Even though some of you are saying, Koiki, just take us. We can't call it Niger Voices when you are fighting for Yoruba Nation. But you have to remember, you know, we've been doing this show for the last five years and we will continue like that. But my view and my take, you know, might be different from the studio, but I have the right to self-determination just as you have the right. So when you look at this map today, there's a country known as Nigeria. But what we were not told for years is that there's nothing called Nigeria. It was just the fabrication that was put together by the British government in 1914. And let me quickly read some of the letter that Buhari refused to reply us, uh, for those of us that are campaigning for self-determination. If you have the take that you believe in one Nigeria, please, you know, write your comment and give me a strong reason why we should keep Nigeria. You have the right on this platform. It is called Star Radio UK. So let me just recap you know, what we know about the letter that was sent to President Muhammadu Buhari government. <laughs> I would really like to compensate the guy that made that video. Okay. Uh, okay, which video Okay, which video are you talking about? Uh, okay, I'm going to also be taking your calls. Uh, you know, if you want to speak our local language, please do so. But remember, uh, we are not going to allow any foul language on the star radio because we are live on the streaming and we are live as well uh you know I, i'm sure you all understand you know that so if you want to call us tonight and uh, the number to call is plus four four seven four zero four four zero five nine one seven the back end team please help us to put the number out for the benefit of those that would like to call into the studio and then please do not call any other number Princess Adebinkwe Adeniyi Awoni say, in fact, I am proud of those guys today confronting those Boko Haram terrorists in military. But we should tell them not to confront, but they must stand their ground. I watch it as well, and we are proud of them. But please do not put a confrontation. You can stay and put your feet and say, you have listened to Star Radio UK. You have the right under Article 3 under the African Union, under the European law, that you have the right, just as the Wales have the right to say they don't want to be part of Great Britain, the Scottish are going to be asking for a referendum after 600 years of being together with Great Britain. So a Yoruba man, a Yoruba woman, moving around must not be harassed by the military or the security, not even the police, but please do not confront them. <laughs> Yeah, okay, the guy that made the video at Ojo Adon, yes, they were very, very powerful. We want you to be bold, but do not put a confrontation to the military out there. If you want to call in, please do so. And if you want to speak our language, you are more than welcome to do so. It is allowed. The number is the same, the studio line. Please do not call any other number. It will actually interrupt, you know, the broadcast that we are doing. Plus 4474 <laughs> Neo Jaudon, Ati, I want to watch you believe in one Nigeria. I don't believe in one Nigeria. Let's go to my first caller from Chicago and let's go straight to it. And let's do it briefly. Please mute the background. I do not want to hear any background. And again, we cannot use any abusive language on Star Radio UK. Hello, caller. Ekao. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of feed at the background. I know you're probably somewhere, but if you can help us to reduce the sound, there's a lot of sound coming out on the background. But if I say kia kia, there's a lot of noise at the background. Okay. Okay, testing, testing, testing to life. Okay, thank you so much. The back end, so we love you so much. Mm. Okay. All right, I'm going to let him go because definitely uh, there's a lot of uh, distorted information coming. Uh, if you want to call in as well, if you're watching me right now, uh, please, uh, you know, put the call through. Let us hear your view, especially uh, what you witnessed at Oi Jaudon. If you have not watched that, go to Isha Kon TV. My people, now the video, now on a new watch for me. So, on a switch, it happened from inside the video. All right, my people, I go like to end the video for you. And if you never subscribe, you can subscribe. So that I don't go miss any latest this week I upload. On a bye bye till I come on our way next time. Bye, guys. Catch my next video. Bye, guys.